All right, so I'm going to do a quick Google Duet AI test. Uh, this really just is kind of showing how it can be used. And remember, this is kind of a beta. I've done a few tests already. I'm not really super sure that it is accurate. So please make sure that if you're going to use it for something important, that you read and reread everything and make sure that it's correct. All right, so anyway, so Google Duet AI is supposed to be able to help you write um, a document, an article, a script, an outline, something like that. So we're over here to the left. Um, you know, we have a little summary side and outline side. I don't, I'm not really going to use that part, but just know it exists. And this is the um, pencil icon that will um, show you where to put your questions or your comments to help with your request to have something written. All right, so if you go to tools though, um, if you go down near the bottom, I'm in the labs um, beta testing, and so this may change to something else like Google Duet or something like that. But right now, because I activated, well, I signed up and I activated labs for Workspace, my category is now opt out of labs. It might have started out with like opt in, and maybe some of the newer versions when they get out of beta might say something like Google Duet instead. But anyway, so it is under tools. So if you don't see any of this infrastructure or this pencil, sign up for it first and then um, go to tools. All right, so anyway, so let me get started. Help me write. So I'm actually gonna say, please help me write an outline on ch um, changing a flat tire. This tire is, let's see what happens. So I'm going to put this on my um, driver side front of the car. May not matter where the flat tire is, but let's see if it says anything about it. Okay, park your car on a level surface and turn on the hazard lights. Engage the parking brake. Please place wheel chocks in front of and behind the rear tires to prevent the car from rolling. Open the trunk and remove the spare tire and track um, jack. Locate the lug nuts on the flat tire. Use a lug wrench to loosen the lug nuts, but do not remove them completely. Place the jack under the car near the flat tire. Use the jack to raise the car until the tire is off the ground. Remove the lug nuts and pull the flat tire off the car. Put the spare tire on the car and hand tighten the lug nuts. Lower the car until the tire is resting on the ground. Tighten the lug nuts with the wrench. Remove the jack, stow the flat tire and jack in the trunk. Drive to a service station to have the flat tire repaired or replaced. Here are some additional tips. Make sure the car is in park and the parking brake is engaged before you start changing the tire. Be careful not to lose the lug nuts when you're loosening them. Use the jack to raise the car slowly and carefully. Make sure the spare tire is properly inflated before you put it on the car. Tighten the lug nuts in a crisscross pattern to ensure good seal. Have the flat tire repair or replace this soon. That's not too bad, I don't think. And so I, I did hit insert, and so now we have it. So let me see, There's these are actually from Grammarly, so you can ignore that. Um, I probably should have turned Grammarly off first. All right, so that's not bad. That's um, that's a good test. That's a good test, but that's a um, pretty generic thing to ask for, and it did not need to know which tire was flat for my situation. All right, so I am going to take all this out. Let's do another one. So now let's do something simple. Um, let's try something that Google may know is um, how to set up a Google. Chromecast, Chromecast TV device. Let's see. Please um, provide a generic overview, very basic, not all the details. Please put in bullet format. Let's see what it does.
how to set up Google Chromecast TV, please provide. Plug in your Chromecast to an HDMI port on your TV and connect it to a power outlet. On your TV, select the input that corresponds to the HDMI port. Open the Google Home app on your phone. Follow the on-screen instructions. Once the Chromecast is connected, you can start casting content from your phone. Here are some additional tips. Make sure that your TV is turned on and that the input is set to the correct HDMI port. If you have trouble connecting your Chromecast, try restarting your router. You can also cast content from your laptop. Um, I like this one. So this is very basic, it's generic, and I am gonna go ahead, oh, you know, I'm not gonna insert it yet. Let's try this. Let's do um, formalize. Let's see what happens when I hit formalize. Of course, I don't have very good memory, so I'm not really sure what it's gonna say. Let's see. I'm not sure it really changed it. I should have tried to remember what I put. So let's do shorten. All right, so it says we're still learning and can't help with that. Try another request, okay. And then let's do, um, let's do rephrase. really sure it changed too much. I'm not really sure it did anything. And then let me try elaborate. So I think we had five bullet points and some sentences after. Um, it did add some stuff. So here are some additional information. So this, here are some additional benefits. That did a good job. I kind of like this one. It did good. So I'm going to hit thumbs up and then I'm going to hit insert. And um, again, all these underlines and stuff are actually from um, Google. I mean, from Grammarly. So I'm going to say this is a little bit of a win and I am going to stop recording.